before sunrise, before sunset. The inevitable question is how autobiographical are those films? Well, both those movies are seeped in Julie and Richard and myself, like they're ours, you, you know? I mean, uh, I don't know, autobiographical. Whenever you say that, it, it implies that, that it's all true, you know? And it, it's not, but we're certainly using ourselves. You know, I always felt like I'm playing Rick and Rick feels like, you know, he's capturing me or something. I don't know. Um, there's some strange thing. And then Rick and I are both championing Julie, you know. We, Julie Delpy has always been the, you know, the secret ace of that collaboration. She's the magic of that collaboration. Um, she's the inspiration, she's the muse of it. Um, uh, people don't know what an excellent writer and what an excellent mind she has. And her, it's her unique genius is what makes those movies take off to my mind. It's what makes them special. And, um, you know, there's very few movies today that, I mean, they, they, they come out every so often, but that really have a full female human being on screen that's not some kind of male projection of it or not some kind of female... Uh, reaction to some male project you know it's it's like she's a whole woman on the screen and um i'm very proud of that collaboration for i think julie's performance you know i know what what she's what, what her contribution as a writer was too and how deep and profound it was to both of those films so she's the, i forget why i was talking about that because you just went on from whether it was autobiographical to, oh, whether it was to autobiographical. the collaboration yeah. between you, yeah, right. Richard, and her. It's not that. I mean, it is autobiographical, and it's not. Because before, before Sunset, which is the second one, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, that's got, a, I mean, there you are in Paris. You're writing, presenting a book, and then. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's funny is that it's, it's like a, what's the word? It's a parallel life, the, you know? And um, we always knew we wanted to make a second movie. And then Rick came to one of my... Um, book readings in Austin. I was doing a book tour and I was, you know, at the such and such bookshop in Austin, Texas, doing this reading and, and Rick was there and he came up to me afterwards. He goes, what if this is how they met? Again, you know, they lost each other and he wrote a book about her and she came to the reading and that's how they met again. Wouldn't that be great? And I was like, yes. And that's how it started. So, I mean, you know, you know, the, the real life and, you know, uh, film life are, are, are intertwined uh, in a way that's impossible to take apart.